we're, we're employed here at the Chief State Solicitor's Office as private security. Um, but we find ourselves in a situation where the contract for the security is transferred from one company to another and the, the second company involved has refused to transfer. We're protesting because uh, basically we felt our rights have been trampled on and, and we're not getting what we're due. I was working in this building for eight years um, and now we found ourselves with no job. The new company came over, took over the contract and they not respect the two regulations, which basically means we found ourselves jobless, standing outside this building now for a week. The eight people who were involved in this dispute were in the normal industry uh, situation, they would have transferred under what's called the Transfer of Undertakings Regulations, uh, commonly known as CHUPI. And in this situation, the incoming contractor top have refused to step up to their obligations uh, to what is we regard as an industry norm. Only I'm probably in a bigger situation because my age. Uh, what's going to happen after this? Um, am I going to be uh, am I going to be employed after this? I'm here to support my dad. Um, it's a really bad situation at the moment, and all I want is to get him back into work. What's crucial in this is that this is a, a public sector body. And basically, even under the, uh, the Haddington Road Agreement, there are certain protocols that have to be observed when private contractors are taken on board. It's crucial that this, this is uh, resolved positively and successfully for this group of workers and also for, to set the tone for the future of transfers in the security industry. We've no job, no wages, and um, we can't get as much as social welfare. All our, all our entitlements have been basically stopped because we can't get anything from, anything from anyone. But the side of us here, we're only ordinary men. Um, uh, you know, we mortgages, bills, food, the whole lot. And you know, for most of us, this is our last week. We've no money after this week. I want the people in here, Roy, to get together. Get together, not, not today, not tomorrow, as soon as possible. Get this thing sorted out. We had a lockout in 1913 and the same is happening now. So we're going into the reverse of history. What we need to see is the three groups that's involved in this dispute with us to come together and resolve this dispute. And I hope everything is going to end great for us and these situations are like that will never happen again. So please God, we're strong together. We're strong together. Hooray! <laughs> the workers united will never be defeated. The workers united.